All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we have uh, 27 dislike from the Mohammedans before even we say a word. I mean, they dislike us. And we as a Christians, we don't have the right to live. The death number of the attack yesterday passed the 300. In the front of us, there is a very well-known person. He is a Shia. And there is many naive, idiot, Western people. They like him. He said, if suicide bombing was a shortcut to paradise, whoever convinced you would have blown himself up before you. There is many stupid Westerns, and sadly I have to say and use the word stupid. They do not know that the Shia, their bread and breakfast is taqiyya, which is lying. Jihad is part of the Shia, the same as it is part of Sunni. There's no different. Actually, the first suicide bomber in the Middle East was a Shia from Hezbollah. And he killed more than 200 Marines for the donkeys who do not understand and they have no memories. But how you can teach donkeys? In China, they say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. We hear every day some donkeys keep saying Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. And I wish the one who says that is Muslims. It is people who have nothing to do with Islam. Even some of them, they are claiming to be Christian, like Muhammad James White who is supposedly a Christian minister in a Protestant church. I mean, how in the world you go to a, such a church? The devil is its leader. This is the guy who they are saying he is behind the attack. And this is the translation of the video. I'm not going to play his video because anyway, it is in a language I don't understand. Translation. Islam does not permit standing up for national flag. Hindus, Christians, Buddhas, or Kuffar. Allah created this land for the Muslims. Kuffar have the right, uh, 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 Kafirs have the right to live only, only. Muslims have the right to rule so you can live under our rule that's it otherwise you die loyalty of Muslims should only be for the national ruled by Muslims or the nation ruled by Muslims and yet you see donkeys keep saying to us this is not Islam and and I challenge any donkeys from the donkeys in the world who keep saying to us that this is not Islamic to tell me where you get this from you go to Muslim website and call us today, 877-Y-Islam. Why Islam? Is ISIS Islamic? And here there's a long, long, long article about ISIS are not Islamic. Where was ISIS before 2011? The fact ISIS never die. ISIS is your prophet. The first ISIS member is your prophet. What ISIS mean? Islamic State. Since 1400 years ago, until now, bloodshed never stopped. So what do you mean, where was ISIS? ISIS is just a name. You created. But the truth is, the real name is the Islamic State. So can you say to me, what is the Islamic State? Isn't it your prophet who said, I create Islamic State? ISIS and Muslim words. There is over 50 Muslim majority countries in the world. ISIS being a recent phenomenon. Uh, this group mainly exists in Iraq and Syria. This is a big fat lie. Islamic terrorism is spread around the globe. 
Forget about ISIS. Forget who is ISIS. ISIS, there's nothing to the ISIS. This is Islamic State. Every Muslim have a duty to wage jihad and establish an Islamic State. Attack in China. You see, they say China, they, they, they put in hold one million Muslim. I went to the Forbidden City. In front of the Forbidden Cities, there is a police car every 10 meters. Do you know why? Because terrorists, they attack tourists and they drive over them. And now they have a big concrete all over the street there. China, Russia. More than a thousand child killed in Baslan village in, in, or town in Russia. Who is who is the Mujahideen we're fighting in Afghanistan? Who is the Mujahideen we're fighting in Bosnia? Who is the Mujahideen they just killed 13 soldiers yesterday in Mali? Who is the Mujahideen who kidnapped a woman just yesterday in Nigeria? And actually they killed the women and kidnapped three other tourists. Sri Lanka, India, Kashmir, Pakistan, Egypt, Turkey, Syria, Iraq. I mean name how, who are they, those who came and drive trucks over people? All of them, they are not Islamic. So who is Islamic? Was Muhammad Islamic? I think this is a good question. Maybe Muhammad himself was not a Muslim because the true Islam does not teach hatred. I mean, come on. True Islam does not teach that. Whoever says to you Islam teach hatred is lying to you. This is the Quran chapter 5 verse 14. Allah, he said in his holy book, who's talking? This is not Az-Zawahiri. This is not Al-Baghdadi. This is not a shish kebab boy from Sri Lanka with long beard. This is Allah, the God of the Muhammadan. And from those who call themselves Christians, we took a covenant, but they have abandoned it. Good part of the message that was sent to them. So we planted among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. Allah have a plan for you Christians. He will spread the hatred between you. And I believe, by the way, this promise is true. This is the devil. You see many many dummy they start fighting you know like protestant and catholic and etc this is all from the work of the devil when you fight together christians you are serving the god of the of of, of islam the, the devil himself satan himself the prophet of allah he is a very peaceful man and he don't want the Christians to be killed. He ordered them only to be slaughtered in a nice way. However, if you don't like to be slaughtered, if you pay Muhammad and the Muhammadan money, you can live. Fight against those who believe not in Allah, nor the last days, nor forbid what is has been forbidden by Allah and his messenger. Is that an order for a certain time? No. Do you see it says fight for a certain time? No. What is the condition for fighting? The condition is very simple. Anyone who don't believe in Allah, fight him. Which means he is a Christian, he is a Jew, he is a Hindu. It doesn't matter. These are conditions. Even though this verse is making name clearly the Christians and the Jews. But the condition is so clear. Fight who? Not fight those who are fighting you. No. Fight those who don't believe in Allah. And the last day of Allah. And what is forbidden by Allah? And those who don't acknowledge Islam. So if you don't consider Islam as your religion, kill him. The liar, they say to us, ISIS is not Islamic. I mean, this is Quran. Look like Muhammad and Allah themselves, they are ISIS, but they are not Muslims.
Did you notice? Obviously, Allah himself is a member in ISIS and that make him not a Muslim. Obviously, Muhammad himself is a member of ISIS and that make him not a Muslim because remember, Islam has nothing to do with ISIS. Do you see how they lie to you? This is the truth, my friend. Everybody is saying, you know, for us, we don't hate Muslims and we will never hate the Muslims. Even they do, do, do a lot, all, all this violence. But we are here to say the truth. The problem is not the Muslim. The problem is not the terrorist. The problem is this book. This guy, he himself is a victim. He is a victim of this book. This book made him a terrorist. Is not the opposite. But all the cowards, they don't want to say the truth. Nobody want to say the truth. You cannot say the truth. If you say the truth, they will accuse you of hate. Don't do that. They will say you have a phobia. It's us who have a phobia or they have a phobia. To the point they can't accept Buddhas, Hindus, Christians, Kafir, anyone. He is not a Muslim. They can't accept him. Who is the one who have a phobia? When Muhammad, he made this verse, and he made it clear to the Muslims, you fight the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya, and they should be humiliated. Which means, Muhammad is nothing but a gang leader. You want to live? Pay. You don't pay, we kill you. That is the truth. If we go and try, you see the Muslim, they say to you, oh, this guy is giving you his own interpretation of this verse. Am I? Am I? Well, we can go and show you the interpretation of the verse by you. Islam is a supremacist cult. They believe that they are the only one have the right to rule and the rest of the world are a bunch of animals and they are dirty as you see in the front of you they make articles about the regime in south africa how they used to separate between white and black simply because they are disgusting racist and i agree but this is Islam doing the same. If you go right now and search in Google, in the year 2011, to the friends of USA, the king of Saudi Arabia, you will find those images. This is a sign in the highway. You'll find it everywhere in Saudi Arabia. Anywhere you go close to the city of Mecca or Al Medina, this is a sign you read and you see. Why? Because you are filthy dirty, as we see in chapter 9, verse number 28. You are a mushrikeen, you are a kafir, you are dirty, you are not equal to humankind. You are a Hindu, you are a Buddha, you are an atheist, you are a Christian, you are a Jew, it doesn't matter, you are filthy. That is the truth.
They have roads for Muslims and roads for non-Muslims. Where is the Trump? Trump who is defending Saudi Arabia 24 hours, 7 days a week and Obama, the, 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 the filthy Obama before him who been to the king of Saudi Arabia. They were not able until now to ask them why there is not even one single church or why there is no single atheist can say I am an atheist in this country. Have you ever heard of a country have no atheist, have no gays, have no lesbian, have no Christian, have no Hindus, have no any religion? There's only one religion. Because this is ISIS. And because this is what the teaching of Muhammad is. Saudi Arabia is ISIS. Muhammad is ISIS. Quran is ISIS. Look what Muhammad he said. It was the order of Muhammad to expel all the Christians and all the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. The Saudi, the king of Saudi Arabia, who you claim that he is your friend and you gave him a lot of weapon to bomb the neighbors, he practiced that. Do you see it? This is what the Turkish Ottoman Empire, they practice too. They killed a million and a half Armenian, more than 700,000 Assyrian, and more than 800,000 Christians from Syria. That is the truth. Is Muhammad a Muslim? Hey Muslims, is Muhammad a Muslim? I see that we have 32 dislike. I'm so disappointed because you Muslim give me only 32 dislike. You should give me more. I'm saying the truth. You don't like the truth. What's wrong with you? Are we lying? Is that Islamic? To kick Christians and Jews from their lands. From their houses. Yes, it is Islamic. Uh, Amlex, I don't like this kind of conversation and don't say that. No, I don't want to believe that God, he cursed the Muslims. God, you see, I pray that God will help the Muslims, not to curse them. I'm not here to curse the Muslims. You get, you get my message wrong. Muslims are victims like you. At the end of the day, everybody die. Because of a stupid cult leader, his name is Muhammad. And that is the truth. So if you join the party of hate, you became just like them and you did not solve the problem the problem is not the Muslims the problem is Islam so what do you want like we start cursing each other now and we want to kill each other no this is not a solution we want the Muslims to join us to fight the cult of Islam to fight this yellow pages books because those terrorists they are doing what is written there the truth is so clear the sheikh who said in the YouTube in the in the in the Twitter video that no this is the land made only for Muslims this is the land made only for Muslims but he's not lying this is what he learned
This is what he believed. They lie to us and they say the Quran. Do you know the Quran says if you killed an innocent person as if you killed all mankind? Are you sure? Yes, brother, I can show you the verse. Brother, I can show you the verse too. <laughs> they quote for you a verse. Have nothing to do what the verse meant. This is something Muhammad quoting from the Old Testament. That if somebody killed an innocent person as if he killed mankind. And this is what the verse is saying. Even the verse confirm that this is from the Old Testament. Because of what we ordained for the children of Israel, that if anyone killed a person that is not a reiteration of a murder, etc. This is for the Jews. Then you ask the Muslims, okay, so this is Allah, he gave it to Musa, to the Jews, all right? It says, if you kill an innocent person, uh -huh. who is the innocent person? Right away, they will say to you, innocent person is someone is not a Muslim, is not considered an innocent. There's a there's an interview between, uh, what is his name? And Jam Shawadri in the BBC. Go watch it. The BBC guy, he said to him, do you condemn the killing of innocent people in London? The guy, he said, no. He said, why you don't condemn the innocent people? He said, because you don't understand. In Islam, in the eyes of Allah, innocent is only Muslims. So they fool you, they show you this verse, but they don't tell you that in Islam, if you are not a Muslim, you are guilty. And this is exactly what is in that, in that interview. You can go and search it for yourself. Search in YouTube. And Jam Shawadri, Muslims only are honest or innocent. BBC. And you will find the interview. This is the truth. By the way, those who talk about the Nazi, Muhammad is a Nazi. This is why the biggest brigade of the SSS of Hitler was Muslims. And specifically from Albania and Bosnia. And this is why the Muslims until now, he is their favorite Western, the only Western leader they like is Hitler. If you go to the, to the, to the Palestinian territory, you will find that they give you the book of Hitler printed for free. From your donation the money you give them united nation and stupid american they give it to the palestinian hamas and they print the book of hitler and they give it to you for free that is the truth go and see who was fighting in the army of hitler it was muslims Why people don't want to say the truth? They say to you that the prophet he ordered to be nice to the Christians. Yeah, I can see that. Not only he kicked them out, look what he said. The prophet said that if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, force him to walk in the sewage and don't give them a pass. Do you see it? This is, by the way, not Islamic. Islam teach to be nice to people. So Muhammad must be not Muslim. Muhammad, maybe he was a, maybe he is a, a you know, a atheist, maybe. 
He's a communist, maybe. Do you see it? When you meet a Christian or a Jew in the street, don't salute them, don't say Assalamu Alaikum, and you have to humiliate them. You have, when it says here, the narrow part of the road, what narrow part? There's no narrow part. This is the sewage. In the old days, the sewage used to be open, deep, deep tunnel in the, in, the, in the side of the road where the dirty water goes. So when a Muslim walk by, and you are a Christian or a Jew coming from the front of facing him, the Muslim will say to you, go down. And you should obey immediately. Right? If I am lying, show me where I lied. Do you see it? If we go to the book of Ibn Kathir, you know, they might say to you, he is giving you his own interpretation about the Quran, and the Quran does not mean that this guy is lying. You know, you know the game. We know it. I mean, nothing new. This is Ibn Kathir. And by the way, if you learn more about jihad, and Islam if you get my book six and Allah you will see why they are doing jihad those Muslims who they are so in themselves they don't believe in Allah they believe in their penis the whole point of this jihad is their penis if you don't believe me read my books everything they do not because they want Allah they don't want to see Allah they don't care for Allah they want the versions the vaginas the endless penis This is a sexual violent religion or cult. Everything is about penis and sex and vagina around the breast. And I change any Muslim to say I'm lying. This is the book of Ibn Kathir explaining chapter 9 verse number 29. You can open it yourself, open the link and read it yourself, take your time. By the way, the English translation has nothing to do with the Arabic. It's a lot nicer, and Arabic is a lot more disgusting. A lot more disgusting. But we will show you the English, just to show you. Paying jizya, they say to you, jizya is a tax. You pay tax, brother. Don't you pay tax in America, brother? Big fat lie. Paying jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Do you see it? People, do you see it? Liberals, do you see it? The followers of Bernie Sanders, do you see it? Paying jizya, which is a, something you have no choice to do or not, is a sign of disgrace. It's not just paying money. And look what it says here. And feel themselves sub subdued. So you don't. Or you, you pay the money, and you have to be like a dog. You know, like you lick. You lick the foot of a, of 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 the terrorist. Disgraced, humiliated. Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma. Who is the people of the Dhimma? Is in the Christians and the Jews who pay money to live. Otherwise, they will be killed, or elevate them above the Muslims. For they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim recorded from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, who said? This is not the Caliphate al-Baghdadi. This is not somebody have Islamophobia. This is the Prophet. Don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians. And if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the most narrowest alley. This is why the leader of the faithful Umar ibn al-Khattab, their best leader, this guy is a very good, nice guy. They said to you, he was a perfect man. They said to you, Umar al-Khattab, he did not enter the Holy Church in Jerusalem, so Muslims will not take over it. This is a proof to us that you Muslims take over churches, right? 
He did not enter that church for a reason because he was afraid that will ignite revolution between the Christian community in Europe and they will come for the crusade immediately. He was just being smart. They say to you the crusade, the crusade, in fact, it was because of the Muslims attacked the Christian, not because the opposite. You see all the media, they attack the crusade. You go to school, they speak to you about the filthy crusade. The crusade is the best thing happened in Europe. If not the crusade, all of you will be slaves of those Abdul, the terrorist. It was the crusade who protected you. It is the Muslims who attack first, as you see. This is their own words. This is their own interpretation. The prophet, he took an army and he attacked Syria and he attacked Jerusalem. The message of Allah, march heading toward Asham, Asham, which means Syria, which is occupied by the Roman, to fight the Roman until he reached a book where he set a camp for about 20 days. Muhammad, he could not make it. Then the Muslims, they came back and they attack again. But the stupid ones, they say to you, the crusade. But in fact, the crusade, they were defending, not attacking. So the prophet said, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit on him, humiliate him, force him to walk in the sewage. This is the ethic of a prophet Muhammad, who every scumbag in the West from those Western leaders, they keep saying to us, Islam is a peaceful religion. Is that ISIS? No. This is the prophet Muhammad himself. This is not ISIS. I am sick of lies and I am sick of liars. Nobody want to say the truth. Do you know the story of the king who is naked? Anyone knows the story? Where a tailor, he told the king, I will make a dress. Nobody can see if he is a fool or hypocrite or he hates you. So he made a dress, which is nothing. He did not make any dress. The, the king himself, he was wearing the dress, but he didn't see the dress, but he did not dare because the, the tailor told him, only stupid, they cannot see it, hypocrite, and the one who don't like you. So he have to be one of them. So the king himself did not dare. I am naked. I didn't see any clothes. He walked between the crowd and all the people, he starts saying, wow, amazing dress. Wow, beautiful dress, because they are afraid. If they say you are naked, then that means they are hypocrite or they hate the king or they are foolish. The ministers, the government, the army, nobody said anything. Then a child, he is seven, eight years old. He screams, says, the king is naked, the king is naked. Nobody want to say the king is naked. Look, we have a Muslim saying, CP is a hate preacher. <laughs> because I'm reading your book, I am hate preacher. What is your uh, what is your comment about your prophet saying if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street humiliate him, Mr. Love Preacher? As long as you are a love preaching person, why you follow Muhammad? Hmm? I follow Jesus who said, Love your enemy. You follow Muhammad who said, if you see a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or a Buddha in the street, spit at him, beat him up, or force him to walk in the sewage if he disobey. So what is your statement? Do you have an answer? Hmm? I mean, you read for them their books, you show them in the screen what their prophet said. They have a comment about me, not a comment about their prophet. What do you comment about your prophet saying that? And look here, it says, the Muhammad, he said, you have to humiliate the Christian. And then it says here, this is why the leader, the faithful, Omar al-Khattab, may Allah pleased with him. 
demanded his well known conditions to be met by the Christians. Those conditions to be ensured that they, they continue of their humiliation. Do you see it? This grace continued? Continued from who? From the time of Muhammad. Do you have a comment, Muslims? Is Umar al Khattab was a member of ISIS? Was Muhammad a member of ISIS? The fact, those are the true founders of ISIS. Hmm? Prove me wrong. Everything I say, it's in the front of you. And because Muhammad is a Nazi fascist person, he taught a religion which make people believe that they are supremacist. Look what Muhammad said. You are the best of mankind. Who are they, the best of mankind? The Muslims. This is why you see this guy in Twitter. He was saying the following. Read with me carefully. Islam does not permit standing up for flag, national flag of any country. You stand only up for Islamic flag. Hindus, Christians, Buddhas are kafirs. Allah created this land for Muslims. Kafirs are, have the right to live, only Muslims have the right to rule. Loyalty of Muslims should be only for the nation ruled by Muslims. Where did he get this from? This filthy idiot. He got it from here. The Quran is a fascist book saying that Islam is a superior and Muslims are superior and they are the best of mankind and their duty is to bring people with the chains around their necks do you see it am I lying Muslims who is a Muslim want to say to me I am making a lie Fahim, Fahim is a Quran teach us to uh, to what? Uh, guys, look at this. What Fahim he said. Fahim is a very Fahim person. Guys, look at this. Fahim he says Quran guide us to to, to humankind, not to fascist. The Quran says kill the Christians, kill the Jews. The Quran says the one who leave Islam cut his foot, cut his hand, and crucify him and put nails in his eyes. What, where is the humanity of you? Hmm? ISIS, they put nails in the eyes of people and they crucified them. Why? Because Muhammad did exactly. They are following their master. Is that Islamic? Yes. Do you see it? He gagged their eyes and he watched them die slowly after he cut their hands and their feet and he crucified them and he put nails after he heated with fire in the eyes of those people. So why they say to us Islamic, you know, ISIS is violence. Is that, a, is that the prophet they say to us he is a merciful? Shahrazad Adnan, we Christians are living because of USA. No, my friend, the USA is the worst person to the country to help you. In case you do not know, Western countries in general, they are the biggest helpest for terrorists. You are being naive, my friend. You are buying, you are being very naive. USA never protect Christians. 
England never protect Christians. They protect terrorists. It was the CIA who taught Osama bin Laden how to make bombs. So they have the religion, which is terrorist religion, and the evil CIA used that religion, this cult, for their agenda. That is the truth. And you think we are living because USA protecting the Christians? You are mistaken. You have no idea what you are saying. Don't you hear about 10,000 Christian Serbian? They've been slaughtered by Billy Clinton in El Bosnia. And the Mujahideen, they burned our churches and they take it down and they were making fun of the cross. If you don't believe me, go and watch the videos. France, Italy, USA. England, all the NATO, they start bombing Serbia. Powerful countries. Taking the side of the Muslims. Giving Kosovo the heart of the Christian Serbian. This is the, this, the first king of Serbia was born in Kosovo. This is not a village in the side of Serbia. This is the heart of Serbia. The Western, they give it to establish an Islamic state in the heart of Europe. Foolish of you, my friend, to think that the Western ever protect Christians. In the Ivory Coast, 4,000 Christians burned alive by the help of the French army. If you don't believe me, go search the videos on YouTube. People are naive. They think those government in the West, they care for you as a Christian. They hate Christianity. They fight Christianity. Somebody asking me, Fahim, have you ever been to a masjid? Yes, I, I went a lot of time to the masjid. It was the only place we can piss in. I'm not, I'm not insulting, this is the truth. In the Middle East, there's no public toilet, you know, so where you go? You go to the masjid. There's a masjid every corner. Not only me, even the Muslim, they don't, they go there not to pray, just to piss. Now, why you want to go to the masjid? What I will do? Hmm? All governments are from God, that's false. You see some people, they say to you, in the Bible it says, like what it's meant supposedly, that if there is a king, he is he's anointed by God. That's false. That's not what the Bible says. And I can prove you wrong in two seconds. Anyone remember someone, his name is John the Baptist? Anyone remember that name? John the Baptist? What John the Baptist did? Was he against the king? He was. So what do you mean from God? And he lost his life because he stands for the truth. The Bible teaches you to obey the law but not to obey the devil. So if the king is the devil, you don't obey. You say the truth. No matter who is the king. And that was John the Baptist. And maybe you don't like him. Maybe he is not a good person for you. We are peaceful. We obey the law. And Jesus says, give to Caesar what to Caesar. But this is about doing your duty as a citizen. But if a king he is unjust, you don't say you are just, that will make you a liar. What Jesus said about the liars?
Your, your father is, you are the sons of vibers. Only corrupt priests, they will try to say to you that government is from God. And they use that for centuries so they can control the crowd. That, that said, God, he made this king a king. Come on. Now we go back to our topic. So when people, they say to you that ISIS is not Islam, those terrorists are not Islam, they are lying. I agree, not every Muslim want to be a terrorist. But that's not because Islam is not a terrorism religion. That's because he don't want to be. Or maybe he is not too much of a believer. He is just a Muslim by name. Muhammad himself, he says, I was victorious by terror. Do you see it? Is that me saying that or Muhammad saying that? Muhammad was the first terrorist. Any Muslim want to say to me, you are lying. We have only 624 like. I mean, those, you see, this is one of the things I like about Christians and even like non-Muslims. I mean, they come, they join, they text, they go to sleep and they don't care what happened next. Even a like, they don't, they don't have time to, to click like and like like. I mean, this guy, look what he is doing, but we will not give him a lie. I mean, it's a like, but we have no time to give it. But, you know, we are here just to have fun. They think what we are doing here is a joke. Don't give me a like. I don't deserve it. If I am a woman wearing a short skirt, talking about my panty, then you will give me a like. And for sure, the first one will give you a like is the Muslims. Why I am sad? 299 people, 300 something now, they pass and many and 500, many of them, they lost their arms, their fingers, their legs. And you are telling me why you are sad? Do I need to lose my arm myself to be sad? Why do you think they are chicken? Somebody told you that those are not a human, they don't have a family. How many orphan we have today? People, they go to the church. Imagine you send your son, he is seven years old, to the church to pray, and he come back to you, pieces. They can't even recognize him. And why you are sad? Hmm. Look what uh, look what Fahim, the potato Fahim, what he's saying to me. Just to show you. That to be a believer in the cult of Islam, you have to be suffering from low IQ. Look what this guy, he said to me. If you want truth about Islam, please show, show your face. <laughs> Fahim, I have an advice for you. Don't ever get married. Because I believe if you get married, Either your wife or your mother-in-law, she will she will push you from the fifth floor. I mean, who is the lucky woman? She will be your wife. She will be so excited to hear someone so smart like you. I mean, you are not only smart, you are genius. Fahim, before you wrote this, how long it took you to make it up?
10 hours, 5 hours, since yesterday. I mean, you were thinking about it for long? How long? Did you thought about making a book about this? So if you want to learn the truth about Islam, show us your face. What is the connection? <laughs> this is why I like Chinese old says when they say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And that is Fahim. He is 50 years old something. He left as a donkey. He will never come back as a horse. I promise you. And the funny, his name is Fahim. Do you know what Fahim mean? Fahim is somebody is like wise. Somebody he understand. I mean, his name is Fahim. Look like your parents. They give you the correct name. Perfect name for you. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay long for today. I just wanted to share this with you. Don't, don't be a corrupt person and say things as it is. Islam is a terrorist religion. Islam is the problem, is not the terrorist. The terrorists are themselves, they are victims of the cult of Islam. It's not the opposite. Those people who commit suicide yesterday, they thought they are serving God. They've been told that they are the good ones. This is the truth. And nobody want to say the truth. Why you don't ask yourself what make a guy go and explode himself in a buffet? Why somebody want to go and kill himself between those Christians? Because simply, Muhammad told him to do that. He is a victim of the biggest terrorist in this universe. Look what Muhammad he said. I was victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey. Do you see it? A month journey. What? Because obviously the prophet was so nice to the point from a dis distance of a month. People will be terrified. I've been victorious, not help, false translation, by terror. And Allah, he gave him the special spoils to rape the Christian women and the Jewish women and to take their money. Was Muhammad telling the truth when he said, I was victorious by terror? Or this is a fake prophet? Again, we are not against the Muslims. I don't hate the Muslims. I would never hate them. Even after all what happened now and before and f for the last 1400 years. That's why I'm saying that the problem is not the Muslims. The problem is this filthy cult. We need to stand up together and we need to fight this cult, not the Muslims. As long there is people believe in those yellow pages books, there is somebody you want to kill. People don't go and see where the roots is coming from. They want to judge only those who did it. Nobody want to judge the books which made them do it. The cult of Islam is the problem. The first terrorist is Muhammad. Why you want to arrest the terrorist who did it today but you don't want to go after the first terrorist who established terrorism i hope 
your people will download these videos remember i am i don't keep my videos for long so all those videos will go down very f soon so download my videos as long as soon you know it take maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes for the video to load please download it immediately because i don't keep my videos in my channel to be sure that people they are posting it everywhere and always have backup because they will try to take it down so you post it again and again my advice to the christians don't fail into the trap of hate don't hate the muslims this is not what we want i don't want to hate the muslims the problem is hate the problem is hate so we cannot solve the problem by hate if we hate each other muhammad is successful this is the whole point he want to convince them that they hate you, so you should hate them. We as a Christian, we have to be Christians to the end. Love your enemy, pray for them. We will be victorious by love, not by hate. Now for sure we will fight the terrorists, and we have the right to defend ourselves, but we will not hate the Muslims. Be sure to be always a Christian. And standing and saying the truth but don't fail into the hated trap hate is a trap the one who teach it is the first victim so my friend Okay, first and last. Okay, later we will check check it out. Uh, first and last, are you there? Make a make a text so I will see you. Post some text. So, my friend, always please be smart and be Christian, and we should unite all together. Christians, Jews. Hindus, Buddhas, atheists. For all of us, we are target for this cult. The one who was in the buffet, not only Christians. Imagine you go to a buffet, you want to eat, you are hungry, you end dead. Why? Because somebody, he believe in Allah, he decide to kill you. I want to say thank you for being here and thank you for those who support us and please again remember to download my videos immediately and the previous ones before we take them down if you like to learn more about Islam you can go and get my books from Amazon we have them in all languages maybe not all most in Spanish in German English for sure and the most important is that we when we learn we should share the knowledge we have don't be a person who learn and keep knowledge to yourself that is selfish and that is not a smart and the first one you share knowledge with them is your family your children so nobody can fool them there's a huge propaganda machine in the world, sponsored even by liberals, protecting and lying about Islam. The second you speak against this cult, they say to you, you are a Islamophobic. The fact they are the one is phobia people. They forbid the Bible from the hotel. They want to take the cross from a mountain. They want to take the cross from the street. They have a phobia, but nobody dare to speak against Islam. Speaking against Christianity is not a phobia. Taking down a cross, why, why you want to take down a cross from a, from a graveyard? Because they have a phobia.
it is you infected by the phobia and look after all what this cult did is still they protect Islam and they defend Islam and when you say the truth they give you all kind of titles hateful Islamophobic mad person hate teacher hate monger and the purpose is to silence you so you will not say the truth but my friend the Lord he said and he said always you have to say the truth either yea yea or nay nay anything else from the devil the father of all lies is the devil and if you start practicing their lies you are one of them say it as it is If somebody asks you about Islam, don't start saying, eh, they, all religion are good. Uh, you know, there is bad people everywhere. This is not what, it, what the question is. Nobody's asking you about the bad people and good people. Nobody's asking you about your neighbor. Is Islam good or not? But because inside you there is a coward, you don't dare to say the truth so you start going in a cycle just to avoid to say what it is so I want to say thank you for being here guys and I hope I will see you tomorrow again if I can until then, may the Lord bless you. And I pray that all of you stay safe from suicide bombers. Because look like it is a new style of life. And as long they are protected by our leaders who promote Islam, those will increase. Just watch and see what is coming. This will be a lifestyle for the coming century. For nobody there to see the truth. The stupid Trump, even he forced European to take back ISIS members with their families. I saw a video of those women who they are arrested right now and they are screaming, by Allah, we will kill you all. By Allah, we will establish the Islamic State. By Allah, you are filthy coward kafir and we will kill you. And the filthy stupid Trump, he want to bring them back to America. He want to bring them back to USA. We bring them back to England, to France. This is who are your leaders, a bunch of donkeys. A bunch of donkeys. So enjoy the donkeys' rulership. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you all and keep you safe. Take care.